And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Swain. We're going to be playing a deck here that's basically all three ofs. we got 13 three ofs and one big Riptide Rex at the top end. But we're going to be using um, just Bilgewater and Noxus. A lot of good removal spells with damage, with Death's Hand, Noxion Fervor, Make It Rain. We got the deck hands to be able to get some powder kegs to make them better. Same with Petty Officer. We can make, make some powder kegs to have these things do more damage when we need to. We get to pair them up with Ravenous Flock. Um, we have House Spider that is going to be blocking and doing some damage to help out Ravenous Flock. Um, and then we got Salvages. And I, I'm kind of excited about playing three Salvage. Get that card advantage with like all this removal and everything. I think that's going to be pretty sweet. Also, as far as card advantage goes, we got Twisted Fate, we got Sprayfin. Of course, Twisted Fate, like red card, gold card, you know, it can do all that kind of stuff. And then top end, boom, three Leviathan, three Swain. Y'all know how good that combo is. That's what we got going on, plus a Rex to top it off. So here we go. We're going to go play five games over in Ranked. I'm also going to go update the decklist command in Twitch chat because I forgot to do that between decks. So here we go. Deckless command now updated. Let's go have some fun. Twisted Fates, Wayne. These are two of my favorite champions to play. Looks like we have a close to mirror match where they're going gangplank, but the same kind of thing with the Shadow Isles. Um, we're going to mulligan those and keep. It's like these things are just going to die. I don't know. I'll keep. I'll keep the spider. I like the spray fin, but I'm just gonna keep one spray fin. Basically because of that. Because I figured if we kept two spray fins, we'd probably be drawing like Twisted Fate. Um Again for an you know, and then we just have like a handful of four drops. So I didn't want that to happen. So we mulliganed one. But yet we still just drew another spray fin and a twisted fate. <laughs> so we still have a handful of four drops. So it didn't work. I'll just go trade trade. So I don't just trade these with Make It Rain or Vi or uh, Withering Whale. They're going to be all about Withering Whale, Make It Rain, Vile Feast, all that kind of stuff. Alright, last Spray Fin gone. Yeah, Ruzgar, go ahead. Uh, let's lead with Sprayfin. I think between Sprayfin and Twist of Fate, whatever we lead with is going to die. And so I'll just lead with the Sprayfin to die. Never lost a fair game. Wow. I mean, I'm I'm gold. I mean, I don't know what's in their hand, but I'm gold carding all day. Let's do this. Because basically, instead of drawing a card, they didn't. They already had this filled, so they didn't get any mana. So basically, the card they would draw would be a zero mana, you know, removal spell, and I'll, I'll just take a zero mana removal spell all day. Nice, yeah, that that 11 for 1 judgment, that was one of the best things we've ever done, right, Sizzle? That was amazing. Lady Luck is smiling. Lady Luck is dying. So 
So ideally we would have Powder Keg and then a Twisted Fate Red card and do two damage to all this stuff. That would be great for the Swain level up as well. That would be ideal. It's super easy for them to kill a Powder Keg. Though, so that's not very likely to work. So my plan is just this, and then House Spider. So we have the card advantage. Still passing. Let's do this. Best run while you can. Yeah, they love passing. I would love finding Leviathan. Um it's possible they have Ruination. I'm not really expecting it, but I, it's possible. The Russians, the yeah, that's true. They could be sitting on Dreadways and Ledroses. That's true, that's true. I didn't really think about those cards, yeah, that's certainly an option. Lost a fair game. Or played one. I'm a people person. Act him good. Ouch. Ouch. Um... Guess I kill Twisted Fate with this. Because that levels up my Swain by doing that. Yeah, Nox's board music is really good, isn't it? This is a great one. Like, obviously the Bilgewater board is amazing, but like this, you know, Bilgewater and Noxus and Freljord. There's a Leviathan, that's great. So just in case, Ruination. 
Like, yeah, like that's a great draw, especially against Ruination. This round. Bring these lands to their knees. Artillery barrage! I will break them. Kind of have to watch out for all their things being doubled damage wise. I don't know, is that. I guess they're saying that's going to kill me, which I guess that does kill me. So I've got to kill that thing first, so this doesn't kill me. Right, exactly. So that's why I felt like I didn't have to just throw, like, didn't have to throw the ravenous flocks because of Leviathan stun. Okay. Riptide Rex, no. Perfect. Love that Noxion Fervor. Great draw. Just in case. Just in case. That was our best card to draw. Should still kill them. Still does kill them. I will. Poor Ledros got stunned three times this round. My <laughs> Ledros is like, I only need to be stunned once. How am I, why am I stunned three times? Oh, did we get the, co the cool sleeves? Oh no, we're at 9 out of 10. We gotta win one more. Get those cool sleeves. Yeah, Swain is cool. Yeah, the, I like this deck already. Swain, Twisted Fate. I, I liked the salvages. Like having, you know, getting that card advantage with the salvage. Oh, is Swain a dictator? Eh, I guess. I guess that's not great. Um, I don't, I don't know, Faint. You can check, it's it's in there. Uh, I guess we mulligan our eight drops. Keep the threes. Hey, Chris of the 5-0 oh, incoming. Well, if we get through this one, thank you, thank you, Chris. Okay, Swain's just a general, that makes, that makes sense. Um, if we can get through this matchup of Sejuani, Ash, Ash, Sejuani, I'll be feeling pretty good.
feel like if we do, Leviathan's gonna be a big part of it. Be nothing left when I'm done. Nothing can stop me. Mm. Not sure how true that is. I became a soldier. Uh. This will level up Swain. Swain will turn into a four four. Maybe I shouldn't do the 3 damage with Swain and keep Swain at 4-5, but I didn't really want to kill either of these things that I felt could be important attackers. Go time. Noxus. By attackers, I meant blockers, sorry. Important blockers. Tough. I'm not sure if I block. I guess so. Hey, Tumble Dog. You've been playing Twist of Fate of Swain for a few days and loving it. Nice. Very nice. Love that make it rain. Oh, I, I should have just attacked first. My life for Avarosa. Save the hope. Line up. Gross. That should just be draw. If you have a five plus power ally, draw one card. Oh, that that makes sense. Alright, so there's no reason to gold card to stun because we can red card and that does damage to them and with Swain in play it stuns. So that stuns the so like that's just perfect. It kills those two, stun the Sejuani. They challenge here. I go Death's Hand or Ravenous Flock? Um, probably Death's Hand. The problem with Death's Hand is Elixir of Iron. Yay! Okay. Um... Yeah, the, yeah, the the flock was safer. It is the Swain flock. Yeah, this, this the flock was safer. I definitely want to play Leviathan. Prepare the cargo. I'm going to. That's true. The Death's Hand could be a stun trigger later. 
I'm worried about Reckoning. They just play Reckoning and then, then I just... All these things die. That's good. No Reckoning. It's fine. Stun them all. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Order, sir. Bring Let's go. Double Leviathan. It is me. I give you muscles. All right, take seven. Your terms have been accepted. I will take seven damage. And we still have Noxian Fervor also, in case this doesn't work for some reason. They have to have that, plus Harsh Winds, plus Brittle Steel. Yeah, and I guess I could have... I guess I could have uh, played this the Ravenous Block before playing the Leviathan, so I would have redrawn it. Yeah, y'all are right. I could have, could have just killed one of these things for free. I mean, how they even survive? Like, they can't even survive. Even if I don't have Noxian Fervor, because we just go to the next turn and the Leviathans just do all that damage anyway. That's a big win right there. All right, we got new sleeves. I want to switch over to the new sleeves, but... These sleeves are sweet. But we're 2-0. and oh. Does that mean I'm going to start losing now that we're switching sleeves? Like, am I, am I ruining the luck? Or have the Misfortune sleeves done... Like, have they gotten as much, much luck as they can and then we switch over? I've got to go new sleeves. we got to kick... You know, it's like... It's like the starter... Got some endings. Now we gotta go. To, now we gotta switch it over to the bullpen to close this out. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. All right, so we are playing against Ash Sejuani again. I'm going to keep this hand. Get him spiders. How spider underrated in a deck like this? It just kind of just kind of does some things. I'll spot him. Mm. Afro's and Sentry was the my least favorite card to see. I'm not going to attack with Make a Ring. I don't want to do the Mega Rain first, because then they Brittle Steal my 2-2. So now, like, you know, Elixir of Iron would save their thing, but just Elixir of Iron. Fight the signal fires. Cool, yeah, the Spider Swain deck was pretty sweet. We had some fun games, too. We had some great top decks. Fun games. That one will be up in... Yes, it will be up in three hours from now, exactly. That's because that's going to be the first deck up for today. 
Uh, I don't know. I don't love just throwing a Noxian Fervor at Ash like that. I don't know what I want to do. Oh, I think I want to blue card. I think we need some new insurance. Go to blue card, blue shield. Get some. Okay, now it's supposed to fate. You know, they they can't really attack with Ash. Like they block, like we block with like a little spider and then flock Ash. Loyalty through conquest. Hate these calling strikes. My legacy. Show me a target. Hate these calling strikes. Victory requires a sharp blade. I'll cut them apart. Face me. That's fine. It's a great turn for them, though, right? Like, <clears throat> I spend all of my mana on a 3-6. They spend their mana to kill that 3-6 and play a 5-5 five, five, and play a 5-1 that kills your other champion that you've played the turn before. This makes this deck so good. It's two mana 5-1 challenger, one mana 5-5s. Five, so good. All right, so I'm hoping to just kill this with Flock and then red card with Twisted Fate to kill those two. That's the current plan. I guess this is letting them assessor. Okay, cool, not assessor. Never lost a fair game. Or played one. <clears throat> <laughs> no. All right, so now I guess so I can kill Ash or Hearthguard. It's not so bad, Valerian Blade. Yeah, good elixir, good elixir. Um, see, next turn is seven mana. We're not Leviathan yet. I, mean, I guess it's got to be Ash. Unify the tribe. Dreadway Deckhand. That can allow Noxion Fervor to kill something. Something like a 5 4. Too scared to attack. <laughs> I just be deep with the most decision making I've ever needed to make on a single turn to pull off the win. My brain is now fried. Yeah, that's that's the thing. I I used to stream like eight hours a day, but honestly, like this this game has a lot of difficult decision making for sure. Alright, so I'm definitely doing that to that. It's just... Do I have my 1-1 block the 4-4 or not? I guess not. Basically, I didn't because I want the 1-1 one, one to be able to match up here, and, you know, like, we're at 20. I can always just block the, the next turn with, with that. Dark in the skies. 
<clears throat> Ooh, or we can add up some damage. GG's, let's go. Twisted Swain, three and O. Oh. It was in the cards. Cause yeah, we still had a bunch of gas left. With Deep, I beat Karma Thresh having zero cards in library turn three, thanks to Shipwreck Hoarder to put back cards. Wait, turn, oh, three turns. Oh, you had zero cards in library for three turns. Okay. Gotcha. He had zero card in library, then he survived another three turns. I was like, turn three, milled him out. What? Yeah, doing great with this deck. This deck's a lot of fun. Yeah, those house spiders just did some work. All right, the fervors are gone. The flock is gone. The fate will stay. 3-0, let's go! Another win for the 135 area code. Thank you, Chris. Smell that? A bite to cook it! Hmm. I have to do this immediately before they attack, because otherwise they attack and they heal. The other option is just not do anything, but with the not do anything option, then they then I just waste all this mana and they're hitting me for a bunch. So instead we're gonna do that, then we'll have Twisted Fate, Gold Card, uh, finish this off. So, you know, we trade two cards for two cards, basically. Okay, that's trading three cards for three cards, right? Like, two war chefs in a single combat for my three. They they spent three less mana than I did with their cards, but hopefully, you know, that just slows the game down. Gets us more time. Swiftwing Lancer. Am I stunning, or do I go Swain and let them challenge? Oh, no, 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 because the war chefs pumps it up. Forgot about the war chefs pumping it up. Um, hmm. All right, bring it. No attacks. Wait, that's not right. Can't fight on an empty stomach. Fear the power. No. So my plan, get the Swain in play this turn, next turn go Sentry plus uh, Ravenous Flock. That was my plan. Yeah, second single combat got me. I wish I would have just gone sentry and stunned. Oh man, this is... could be bad. These woods belong to us. Yeah, no, GG's. That's great hand. I might as well do this, but I don't have anything that, that kills those. Oh, 
All right, definitely wish I would have just gone. You know, I wouldn't have played the swing. Definitely wish I would have just gone with the stun. Yeah, the second single combat killed us. Yep. I thought that we were gonna be just fine, but that second single combat. This is not the end. That got us. Okay, three and one. We'll still take three one, you know, like there's nothing wrong with winning three out of four games. We'll do that all day. Okay, let's get some cheaper removal. I'm I'm debating between Fervor and Second Petty Officer. I mean, I like Petty Officer. Don't Fervor. Yeah, I guess we just keep Fervor also. This is just kind of weird. We're not going to do anything turn one or turn two, but we're going to catch up turn three, doing multiple things turn three and so on. So we should be okay. Which I guess I mean I, I could death sand this turn if we want. I've got your back. Keep them from. This keeps them from Rangers resolving if I go death sand right now. That's a great one drop. Oh, that's a great one drop. To the face. Not bad. Well, I don't know if we're going to really get much use out of this reckoning. <laughs> Not so sure about that one. All hands on deck. We'll There's see. A kill in the air. Hello, love. In the field, you call me commander. Hmm. So, I hope they don't have, I hope they don't have Rangers Resolve or something like that. I'll write my own story. This is a good check to see if they do. They can't just also have Rangers resolve, right? Three one drops, two good two drops, and not including Lucian, and then also Lucian and Senna, and then Rangers resolve. Like they can't just have all of that. They shouldn't have an overwhelm card, they're not Noxus. Ah, single combat. Oh, heck. 
That's not so bad. So I created one of those before. I guess I shouldn't be able. I shouldn't complain. Looks like trouble. Round seven, not Leviathan time yet, so we're still a long ways away from Reckoning. I do wish I could play Swain and Noxion Fervor this turn. Um, maybe it's just play Swain this turn. Just play Swain this turn. Born a patrician, I became a soldier. Here we go. Don't know what their two cards are. Don't really want to see Relentless Pursuit. Really any spell. Another day, another monster to slay. Not a problem when you're. That's not bad. That's not a spell, at least. I suppose. Um, charge. Not Relentless Pursuit, very glad. Relentless Pursuit would have not quite killed me, but it would have been close. You know, like, we would have had to sacrifice our Swain and then take a whole bunch of damage. That's a good one. There you go, Big Alfredo. You about to be on vacation? I'm a people person. Awesome. Bleed for nothing. G G's four wins. We'll take it. Our Swain decks today. Getting those wins. Another four and one. This deck felt stronger than our first Swain deck too. This deck definitely felt strong. That I would I would be. Pretty comfortable playing this one as a rank of deck. We had some sweet sleeves to go along with it too. This this is a, a really nice deck though, because the Swain Leviathan combo is just so powerful. And that's what you we really uh showed in these games. How that, that combo is just so so good. <laughs> the crowd wanted the reckoning. No. Oh, I guess we did know. We did know that last card in our opponent's hand, that last game, because they had the Mage Seeker Conservator die, so they had a six mana spell in hand. Uh, I guess I could have kind of narrowed it down a little bit to what they could have in hand. I, I forgot about that. I don't know if y'all forgot about that. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what they would have had in hand was something that cost six plus mana. Bum, 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 bum. Swain is pain. Man, Big Boom Chris really came through today. 135 per win. That that's awesome. Thank you so much. Um, 
Very nice. Uh, but yeah, this was this was really fun. I, I really did like the house spiders. You know, like they just did their job of slowing the game down and allowing it to go longer to help, you know, to get to these. And plus, like the house spider with the ravenous flock, like that's just a good combo. Or with make it rain, you know, like it just paired well with all this stuff. The card, one card that I could see playing in here is Culling Strike. We didn't have Culling Strike, and Culling Strike would have helped out against other Swain and Thresh decks and things like that against Maokai. Um, I don't really know where I'd want to fit in Culling Strike. Um, but that's something that, like, if you're playing this later, that could be a card to, to kind of think about. Um, but, you know, I, I liked having, you know, like, Death's Hand, like, all these things to help level up Swain. But Culling, Culling Strike's like a better card than Death's Hand on its face, but Death's Hand's just a lot better with Swain. You know, either leveling up Swain or getting that that damage in to um, stun something with a leveled up Swain. Um, I liked Salvage. I, I was happy with having three Salvages. But again, like maybe you could fit two Culling Strikes. So you could go like two Death's Hand, two Salvage, two Culling Strike for those of y'all that are big fans of Culling Strike. Because Culling Strike is pretty great, so I, I would not be mad at that at all. If you want to um, find some extra room, you want to find some extra room there for some Culling Strikes. I would not be mad at that. So that's something to think about. Um, you know, something to consider while you're playing the deck is maybe should you have Culling Strike or not. But besides that, everything else felt great, and I really liked, uh, yeah, really liked everything else. Yeah, Culling Strike is really good in this metagame, too, with all the champions running around. So, I wouldn't... Yeah, like that... I could definitely see it being improved by going to Death Hand, to Salvage, to Culling Strike. I could definitely see that being a a, um, better, a better deck. And and I would, I would take out Death Hand over Fervor. I was real happy with Fervor. Fervor basically levels up Swain, like, super fast, right, doing six damage, so I was really happy with that, and then with having house spiders and deckhands and petty officers, we have a lot of things that we can fervor away. Um, yes, I think, I think Twisted Fate is stronger with Swain, I think, then, the question is, is Twisted Fate stronger with Swain than Yasuo? Yes. Um, I, I like this more than Yasuo with either Twisted Yasuo or Swain Yasuo, I think that this is a stronger deck than either of those. Um, I think that these two regions, Bilgewater and Noxus, are both kind of offering more than what Ionia is right now with all the Ionia nerfs everywhere. Um, so yeah, we'll we'll try that out next time. We'll we'll add in uh, two Culling Strike to go along with the two Death's Hand and two Salvage. Uh. Yes, yes. So Fervor is six for Swain. It's, it deals three to your ally, and it also deals three to something else, so it's six total. So it, it halfway levels up Swain by itself. So yeah, it does a great job leveling up Swain. You're welcome. Um, there we go. All right. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Feel free to leave those comments. Also, hope you like this Twisted Swain deck and just all these decks today and just, you know, Legends of Runeterra in general. Always leave those comments. Hit that like button. Got any questions, you know, feel free to, feel free to ask them. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Twisted Swain, and I will see you for the next video.